Hi, my name is Seal, and I'm speaking to all of you at mirror.co.uk. How are you? Now, first things first, obviously, we've got to talk about the album Soul, mm -hmm. coming out on November the 3rd. Mm -hmm. It's an album November 10th over here. November 10th over here. Mm -hmm. I was misinformed, I apologise. Um, now, it's an album of soul covers. Mm -hmm. Obvious reason. Why covers? You're known for your original material. Why this now? Well, uh, you can answer that in, in many different, different ways. Why not, for a start? Uh, um, why? Because I can. Um, but I think m most notably because the first song that we recorded for this album was a song called uh, A Change Is Gonna Come, of, of course by the great Sam Cooke. And it came as a result of hearing it coming over the radio one night. <laughs> social statement, a social uh, awareness, and the whole album was kind of pretty much in inspired by what is going on domestically and internationally. Well, I was going to ask you, I mean, talking obviously of the social aspect of it, mm -hmm. you do live in America now, mm -hmm. who are you backing in the elections right now to make that change? Well, that's an interesting question, and people ask me that question all the time. I'm backing the American people, and it sounds like a cop-out to say that, right? But it isn't really. I've met Obama. I haven't met McCain. I've met Obama. Um, I think he's an amazing human being. I think he's a man for all seasons. I think he's great. I think he's everything that you perceive him to be. Um, I haven't met McCain, but that doesn't mean I don't think he would be a great president. He may very well be a great president, and, and he may well be a better president than, than Obama. Being the, being the Governor-in-Chief of the United States of America, of the most powerful or most, certainly most influential country in the world, right, the leader of the free world, the leader of the democratic free world, is a very, very complex and often quite uh, 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 dirty job. I am just pro the people. I'm, I'm pro their choice and their ability for the first time to take advantage of this situation not sleep on it and not let it go. And if they vote for McCain and if they think he is the better person to lead the country, then so be it. If they vote for Obama, then so be it too. And basically, that is what inspired this group of songs. That is, that's what inspired People Get Ready. That's what inspired A Change Is Gonna Come. That's what inspired me to initially take on this challenge of making this album of soul classics, music that I grew up with as a child. I mean, very briefly, does it have any bearing to Britain as well? Obviously, this is of where you were born. Of course it does. Of course it does. Now, now obviously, you're quite a family man now, aren't you? Of course. Obviously, so that's very important to you. I mean, how important is it? Is it the, you know, your main purpose now, being a dad? Oh, well, it's not my, my main purpose. My main purpose is being a husband. You found your soulmate, didn't you, with Heidi? Yeah, I think I found my best friend. You know, I, I found someone who, who can put up with me, you know, and, and someone who, who accepts, me for, accepts me for what I am, someone who, who you know, who can, who can deal with, uh, you know, my, 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 my opinionated uh, uh, d um, demeanor. Um, yeah, and, and someone who I admire. And I think, uh, I, I think the biggest thing that we have... Uh, you know, up there with love is respect. I mean, I respect the living daylights out of her, and that's uh, and that, and that really is the key to our to our um, our relationship, I guess. Now, go, yeah, Can of course. Um, I don't want to close the interview. I want to keep talking. <laughs> I like talking to you, ask intelligent questions, but with humour. Here's your, have, a, have a glass of wine. Um, we could be here a long time. Yes. <laughs> Um, well, I was going to move on. I mean, you know, obviously talking about your history and, you know, some of your biggest hits, like Kiss from a Rose, Killer. Mm -hmm. Do you still feel the same way about them that you did when you first sung them? Do you ever get bored of performing them now? Um, I never get bored of them. Uh, 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 you know, it's a bit of a pain in the ass singing Kiss from a Rose uh, uh, now and then because it's a difficult song to sing. <laughs> but I never, really, I never really get bored of them. Um, I'm fortunate for them. I think that if you're an artist who's in a position to have... Stop whispering. 
if I'm in a position, if you're in a position to, to, if you're lucky enough to be an artist who has one song like that, that people love, that people respond to, um, then, you know, you, 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 you should consider yourself really lucky. You're 45 now. Have you still got any dreams that you want to fulfil? Yeah, lots. Um, I, you know, I, I think I can, I'd like to try and be a better husband. I'd like to try and be a better father. I don't think you can ever give too much time to your family. Um, I'd like to do more work uh, for uh, underprivileged children. Uh, I'd like to do more work in South Africa. I was really inspired when I went there last year, and I, I saw a lot of good things, a lot of great people doing a lot of work, far important, more important work than what I'm doing. Um, I'm an entertainer. I make songs, and, 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 and that's really the beginning and the end of it. But I'd like to do a lot more with that. Um, one of the people that I admire is Bono, um, you know, for, for, for all the stuff that he does and, and how he, he uses his career and his position and how he doesn't really care what people say about him, you know, but he still goes and does it. He's one of the people that doesn't talk about it. He doesn't. So if I could do half of what he's, uh, what he's achieved in terms of you know, humanitarianism, then, then I'd be really happy.